Hey guys, welcome back to Flannel Shirt Day on Bad Ombre Garage. Why is it Flannel Shirt Day? Because every day is Flannel Shirt Day. Check it out, I made a giant mess in my garage, cleaned it once, made another mess, but massive progress on the old Jeep top. Alright guys, let me give you an update of how I'm doing on this old Jeep hardtop project. And uh, if you missed it, if you go back an episode, the last one I put out, uh, I believe episode 72 of Bad Ombre Garage, I talked about what I needed to get done on this thing and I started a little bit of metal fab work on it. Well, I put in a couple of solid days, uh, afternoons out here, jamming away on this thing. Pretty tedious, boring work, but I'll show you what I did. Check it out. First thing, obviously, or maybe not obvious, you might not have known before, but I painted it. And uh, I tried to do a pretty good job, even though it was with the rattle cans. Um, because I'm, I'm trying to do it on the cheap. But I, uh, I primed, I sanded, I spent a bunch of time sanding this whole thing down, put down primer on it, and then uh, painted it a flat white. And uh, I think it came out pretty good, it looked good. I had to paint it because there was like a big patch of surface rust on the top. At one time there had been a roof rack bolted on, and there was about, I don't know, six or eight holes or something drilled through the roof that I went ahead and welded up and cleaned up. And uh, so I thought, you know what, I'm not going to look, make it, leave it looking nasty. I'm going to go ahead and throw some paint on it. Had to fix a few dents, dingers and things on it as, I, as it went in. You can see on the inside, you can see where I welded those holes. I guess I could have uh, hit, it, hit that with a wire brush, sprayed some paint over those. Maybe I still will. Um, but I did all the two sides and the top. Those painted them and uh, got it looking pretty good. I had to do, man, getting this thing mounted, it's kind of a pain but it, it fits well. So, you know, you could see I had to put I put new fasteners in all the way around, but I had to get it all lined up, I had to drill holes, that kind of stuff. Uh, it, was, it was kind of a hassle. The other thing I did when I had it apart after I painted it, because I kept the sides separate from the top, was uh, sealed it, and it got a little, got away from me there. I tell you what, that seam sealer stuff, I always say if you have it anywhere, you have it everywhere. And uh, you're, you're winning if you can keep it out of your hair. But I sealed in there, and then I seam sealed all the way around the drip rail, all the way around it. Um, I seam sealed in here on the back of the windshield. You can see a nice bead there where it's sealed up, and around these corners here so it doesn't leak at all. You can see how this thing mounts. It just it just kind of like there's a lap, laps over this and mounts right up against my uh, the, the bikini top holder. And it just has bolts through it. So I had to drill holes through my windshield frame, and now yeah, that was... That was kind of a kind of tedious, but I got it all lined up. It fits well, snugged up, ready to go. Now I'm ready to start hanging my doors on and getting those adjusted and in, in shape. Um, yeah, what a what a hassle it's been so far, but it's going to be worth it. This thing really looks great. I think it looks uh, actually. I think it looks really good. I'm happy with it. It's it's going to be nice here in the winter time. So, of course, you know it's not just an easy task. Little things have to change. I think I think I'm gonna have to move my seat maybe we'll see just based on the fact that these arms for the back hatch are probably gonna hit now so I'm gonna have to scoop my seat forward like an inch maybe that's kind of a pain oh man you can see my metal patch jobs this was the first side and if you get the light right hopefully it's right for you there you can see where it all went in and I didn't do a very good job of preparing or painting it but on the second side I did, I mean, you can't even tell I did it. So I got better as I went along. I guess that's the goal of this whole thing, right? Get better as you go. Anyway, I'm having a good time. I'm going to start struggling through hanging this back hatch now on there. And hopefully it lines up and fits. Get it bolted in. And then I get to do my doors. And that's another project altogether. All right, 
I got the back door hung. Hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, my little technique on that. So there's your one man small shop tech tip. If you're gonna balance a heavy stinking door on your head so you can put some bolts through it, put a little shop towel on your head. How's that sound? At least later tonight I won't have to wonder why my neck hurts. Uh, and actually, I didn't video it, but my kids came in and I, I put them to work. They helped hold the bolts on the back for me while I sucked it down from the inside. And here she is. So the back hinge or the back latch works and it has these old school struts here to, to lock it in place. Eyeballing those, I think I can do a little measuring and probably go down to Napa whatever your parts store O'Reilly and get some of those modern gas tube uh, shocks for it so it'll just you know whoosh, pop open and pop close because that's kind of there we go but it works opens nice close nice latches in place all right now on to the doors uh, I haven't restored the doors yet they need to come apart and be gassed up uh, gassed up, cleaned up on the inside and greased up, and then uh, painted on the outside. But the uh, one pin's going to hang here, and I'm going to have to drill for the other bracket for the second bottom pin. But before I do that, I think I'm going to try to put the door in, hold it in place, and uh, see if I can, you know, make sure everything works right, and then I'll mark my holes and drill them. So I'm going to mess with that for a few minutes here and struggle around with those doors, see if I can get them to mount in place right, and then I'll bring you back. Oh, and I have help that came out, and she's going to do my windows for me. Awesome. Okay, here's my door. And you can see why I painted the rest of the top, because it, it honestly looked like that. Solid, but uh, a little bit hammered. So, obviously, this thing needs to be uh, lift up a little bit. To fit in the track on the top here but what I'm noticing right away is that this sticks out too far here and I think it's because if you can look at it right here it's got a little wanger in it right here where somebody bent this hinge in I think if I can bend that back out it'll push the door in and then once that's set in in the right place and it's close to flush there um, I can put my clamp on here and suck it up into place on the top check my gaps and everything all the way around and then I got my bottom hinge back in the uh, box of parts that I can just mount it in place mark it and drill my holes so that's what I'm gonna do for a little bit uh, yeah you gotta yeah and that's the other thing with this 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 door the windows are in one piece and they're intact but it's all kind of hammered so I'm gonna have to break in there and lube everything up and glue my window tracks in and good time good time so okay i'll bring you back once i got that got that sorted out okay i've been out here wrestling with this thing for a while now and uh i've come to the conclusion that it's not perfect and it's not going to be perfect i've just been fighting this the gaps trying to get a gap trying to make the striker line up or the uh, handle line up on the striker and everything cover like it should and then look at this touching here big gap there uh, I just think it's you know, what are you gonna do it's a 1964 Jeep you know and the top is off of a different Jeep I think my is what it is is my windshields reclined a little bit too much maybe that's it I'll have to check the driver's side door but I think that's what's going on it's reclined a little bit it could come forward but I tell you what I fought this sucker Oh man, I fought it for hours trying to get it to fit in there and uh, could be the difference. Maybe that's why this thing's a little bit further back here. Although you can see that it fits, you know, it's snug against there, even though there's some overhang on it. I, I don't know. It's like the whole thing could go forward, but as it is, uh, as it is, my windshield is pushed a little bit more forward than it is without the top on it. Yeah, it's just a struggle. I think I'm just going to have to go with it not being perfect. And I think I could sleep at night with that. We'll see. So what I'm going to end up doing here, yeah, what I'm going to end up doing is, is I'll work this hinge uh, just to make it line up the best I can. And then I'm going to have to uh, elongate these holes, move them, move them a little bit 
forward. Uh, and then that hinge will line up. Yeah. And then once that's all set up, I'll also come in here and I have my bottom hinge. I guess I could show it to you guys. This, that's what I liked about this top is it came with all the hardware. And so here's my bottom hinge. I just got to drill out two more holes. I hate drilling holes in cars, but man, I had to do a bunch of it. Anyway, and uh, you know, something like that. Punch it in there, jam them in, make it work. Look at that, it's chrome, even matches my windshield hinge. I'm gonna struggle that, you get the point. Do this, go over to the driver's side and I'll bring you back when I'm done. All right, passenger door's hung. And I think it's hung pretty good, good enough. I mean, that's what it's gonna, that's what it's gonna look like. It opens, it closes, stays closed. It does have enough overlap there. I'll put some of that weather strip stuff in there and seal it up. But uh, yeah, that's it. I'll just give you a little example of how this thing's fought me on every bit of the way. So this is the driver's side door, and the bottom of it here is a little little bent up. See this bracket? It's also got a little wanger in it there. It needs to be straightened out. The right way to do it is to take it off, put it in the vise, or heat it up, or whatever, straighten it out. So, I, the first bolt I go to pull out of it broke. Uh, I already had two broken bolts up on the uh, windshield frame that I had to spend half a day trying to repair. So, anyway, I'm going to rip that out, fix that broken bolt, place it. Uh, I did size it up in the driver's side of the vehicle, though, and it... It fits square, way easier than this side. Yeah, I think my windshield frame is just a little tweaked on this side, so. It, it'll it fit in there real nice. I just need to straighten this, because this, this thing, it's too far out and my bracket doesn't line up with it, so. The right thing to do is to straighten that out. So I'm gonna give that a whirl, drill two more holes in the driver's side, and swing that door on there. All right, you guys. I'm calling this one complete for now. I got it on, got the doors on. I was just going to mock them up, make sure they fit, and then tear them down and get those windows and stuff set. But uh, I just put some WD-40 in there, and that miracle juice did it, man. The windows go up and down, and uh, doors both close real nice. I just have to put in my weather stripping stuff along the seals there. But uh, that was a pain. That took me all day to, well, half a day, to get these doors in and everything bolted down. But man, I am pumped now. I'm pumped to have this Jeep on the road with a top on it. My heater's gonna work and actually heat this thing up. I'll get to enjoy this thing all the winter, all through the winter here in Colorado. Appreciate you guys following along. I hope you guys like it. Um, oh yeah, the details. I don't know if I ever put this out there, but this is a Myers Jeep top. This is something they put on uh, like aftermarket. You get it and you could get a new Myers Jeep top. They also did like plows and different kind of things that go on the Jeep. Uh, but this top is special because you look at a lot of these early Jeep tops for a CJ5, the hard top, and the windows didn't roll down. They would, um, they'd have a slider back like this, or the window was real short. It came up here and it was just a real short one because you got to deal with this hump right here. You can't, you can't have, you don't have a lot of room inside the door. So the Myers top was specific to allow the window to roll all the way down with a full size window, which is why it has this goofy angle on it. That's why it looks kind of funny there. But uh, this, man, it's nice. It'll, it'll be really great. The doors, you just swing them out, lift them off, and they go off the uh, car. So in the summertime, I can just swing the doors off. Uh, the back hatch, you guys saw me install this, but I got her all tightened up. It uh, works like a champ. Everything's buttoned up. Both windows work. I got a feeling I'm going to drive it as is for a little while. And then I'll come along here and I'll pop these doors off one day. Sand them down, put a little paint on them, make them match the uh, top instead of matching the bottom like they do now. All right, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, man, lots of lots of Jeep stuff lately. I've got a weird one for you next time. My next video is going to be goofy, but I think you guys, some of you guys will dig it. I know my kids will. All right, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Turn on the notifications so you don't miss it whenever I put out a new video. And hey, leave me a comment. What do you think? Worth the time and effort to put in this old... Uh, the hard top on the Jeep. Love to hear from you. Thanks for the support. Let's build this community.